me pose des questions sur le décret de Bologne. I have a question about the Bologna program. A priori, this is a very interesting initiative, but I'd like to know if there are any studies that demonstrate the value. Le rapport qualité-prix. Je répondrai à, à Philippe que... I would tell Philippe first that the Bologna program has enabled thousands of students in higher education to travel for study abroad, and that possibility wasn't previously available for some years. And today there is now a formidable international youth movement that wants to study abroad. And the second thing I would say to Philippe is it's a gradual harmonization, rather soft in its process, of the diplomas that enables this professional mobility. So if we want to evaluate the cost-benefit of the Bologna process, we must home in on a number of recommendations that were made by major international organizations and the nations themselves. In other words, can universities promote the prosperity of states and well-being of people by increasing the wealth of nations? Well, it can't be evaluated in five or even ten years, but maybe in thirty years. And the first steps, the first indications that can be observed in this area, shows that the European market and what's been called the market of knowledge in the Bologna process the Europe of knowledge is very conducive to innovation. Whatever the case, I think we should listen to the criticisms. What are the critics saying? They argue that perhaps this cost-benefit economic prosperity will only benefit a few. And it's true that the question of justice must sometimes be asked in a very blunt way. I think that the Bologna process is heading towards a European-led hyper-democracy, which promotes both the prosperity of nations and justice, and which should strive to promote justice. And we must understand that among Europe's universities, there is this word university, which comes from the word universal. And I think we should link this to the benefit of a hyper-democratic world of knowledge that may, I hope, encourage the Bologna process. And if you'd also like to ask a question on Utalk, please visit our website.